Paul! Paul, oh my god. Paul, where have you been? Paul, I'm... Uh, I'm back. I, I'm, you are? I'm back. Are you I'm sure? Alive. I just, they, I'm they, alive. they've been so upset. They, the evil overlords have held on to so much money. You've been gone for so long. I, I had to do these weird, unsanctioned streams by myself. Just, it That's... wasn't, it wasn't right, Paul. I gotta, I mean, I gotta apologize. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have even put you through that. That's, <sighs> we gotta stick together we, we against do. these we evil, do. evil they're just, sons of guns. They're just, look at how, oh, no, just please back off, please. You're too evil. You're too evil. Please. We're, he's here now. Please back off. We're watching. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm best behavior. Okay. All right. You good? Cool. Yes, I'm ready to create. Okay. I'm ready to create for us and for them. Okay, I think I think they're racking off now. <sighs> okay, that was All a right. close one. That, really that was, was a close one. It's 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 been a dark time. It's it's been very dark time. Yes, and not just because it was winter for all that time. Welcome back, dark, Paul. Both literally, <laughs> figuratively. <laughs> Mentally, emotionally, all of the above. Just all of the above. In incredibly bleak. This—it's it's a new year, Paul. It's a whole new year. <laughs> I haven't been here since. Uh, it's sad and scary. Oh God. What? What happened? <sighs> well, regardless, <laughs> we're back. Especially that guy. Welcome mm -hmm. back to Stump the Artist. Mm -hmm. It's a—it's a show where evil overlords have taken the library's money hostage and we have to draw things for them or else or else you don't you don't want to know the or else i've been you don't want to know the or else you don't want to know is this a paul original track asks chat yes it is yes his, his, your presence have been, has been felt despite not being here for these long I'm glad long, i could long. i'm glad i could still sort of be here in spirit yes very Well, yes, you've, you've been here in spirit, and now you're here in um, a more corporeal form, which is nice. Ugh, Paul. So, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to teach you how to do this again. Guys. Yeah, I don't know if I actually know how to draw anymore. Oh, God. This is, this is gonna be a rough one. This is gonna be real bad. <laughs> Alright, well, well, Paul... So we'll we'll start off all by switching to the to the other screen. You remember how to how to use the, the thing, right? How to how to draw uh, on the website. Let's see, I'm gonna give it a shot right now. Okay. Oh, nothing's happening. That's not a good sign. Oh no. Oh no. I was gonna make it a bit, but oh. okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna This is maybe the best thing I've ever drawn. Oh. You know, it's 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 gonna have to do. It's gonna get gonna have to do. Where do I donate my bits? Asks chat. Um, we don't have enough followers to have bits. Unless by donate bits you mean by donating jokes to us, which we will take. We will take. Okay. All right. You do seem to know how to do the thing. <sighs> All right. I can do this. You can do this. You're you're back, baby. I'm back, baby. He's gonna. Stop, 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 stop. We all chant. Thank you, thank you, chat. Uh, alright. So, if you remember, we have to make something to please the evil overlords. And we don't know what it is. So we're just, uh, we're just, we're just gonna start, okay? Alright, I'm getting- Put me in, put okay. me in, coach. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get a personality trait. We're gonna start with that, and then we'll have to make a media property off of that. Oh no! Oh no! We're being shouted at by by Chad. Make something for entertainment. We're trying. Oh. No, draw something stupid. Apparently, <laughs> that was the first first thing I got was stupid. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Well, give me get us a job. Okay. A, a stupid dishwasher. Oh boy. You know this is stupid dishwasher. This is this is really. I feel like this is very negative. This is very negative. I'm gonna make it a little bit nicer by saying it's a mongoose. That's not very smart. 
a stupid, stupid mongoose dishwasher. Mongoose it's, dishwasher. It's real dumb. Yes. So it's it sounds like it would be. Uh, oh jeez, I thought I forgot to draw for a second there too. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, God. Uh. Mongoose. Dishwasher. It sounds like it would be a character on something like a, a Bojack Horseman. <laughs> yes. Yes. I haven't seen enough of the show to know yeah. much about it, but I do know that there are animals on the show, yes. and there would very be a mongoose dishwasher mm -hmm. among them. Well, you you have seen plenty of regular show. This could also be mm -hmm. something like that. Okay. Do you know what a mongoose is, by the way, Paul? I know kind of what a mongoose is. It's, it's... I know that okay. they're mortal enemies with the snake. Okay, well then now we are we all met, already have a villain. Um, Fantastic. So a mongoose is basically a weasel. gonna be this looks more like a dog or something but you know what it's I I might have forgotten how to draw too it's fine it happens a dog with a with a weasel body though mm, yes so I'm gonna like... change my color and then a, a mean snake I'm gonna say the snake is its boss that's perfect. And then we'll just, just, I don't know, because it's restauranty, just give it a dumb mustache. This is, I mean, this can be a regular show thing. It also could be a, <laughs> a, a, an internet cartoon from like 2003. <laughs> we could get, we could get. Get to some adult swim stuff here. Oh yeah, I, I feel like we're we're already on this. Especially if we if we have it moving things and not explaining how it can move things. Do mongoose have tails? I believe so. I'm talking long, bushy tails. Um, or... no, I think it's more of like a. Th like an otter tail, like that biz. So just kind of like a. Yeah, just just just, just, just just a tail, just a tail. Chat says um, a mongoose is a sick bike, which I believe is correct. <laughs> I believe that is also the name of a BMX. We've already started drawing the animal. Um, you could make a stupid bike dishwasher, but bikes are hard to draw. <laughs> Look, we are, we've already been challenged to draw things that we're not going to draw. We're, we're just <laughs> trying to make sure that, that Paul can still function as an artist. <laughs> I, I gotta, you gotta wean me back onto this stuff. Yeah. Bikes, it's not gonna, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. Yeah, well, I know it's a stunt the artist, but we're, we're gonna, we're, we're back on, on step one here. It's become a very bushy Mario, like, Waluigi style mustache. <laughs> Slash kind of looks a little bit like Trogdor. Oh my god. It does. <laughs> you just need to add some consummate Vs. Oh, well, alright. <laughs> I can, I can, I can, I can uh, accomplish that much. You know what, that, that mongoose is turning out pretty cute. Uh, I think that's working out in our favor. Because if it's just like... We don't want we don't want our protagonist to be stupid and mean. We want them to be endearing. Yeah, it's more... You know, buffoonish. <laughs> buffoonish, naive. Yes. They have so much to learn. Mm-hmm. And this, this, it's Snake Boss. I just, 
you know. Snake I, boss I, just doesn't understand. Snake snake boss really doesn't understand. No. Just like parents, they just don't understand. Just do not understand. No. They don't understand me. Seriously, it is becoming cuter the longer you work on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on with this. It was an apron, and then it was a, it was a, one of those shirts, and then it was both. And... <laughs> it's it's fine. It's fine. Sick Fresh Prince reference. Yes, very current. <laughs> Extremely cool. Very awesome yeah. indeed. We <laughs> hear it's comfy artists are nothing if not timely. Oh yes, extremely. As you know, this very long absence mm -hmm. indicated. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. I'm going to Listen folks, life is hard. It, life life is hard. It's 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 been a it's been a, a tough few months. Mm -hmm. Would a dishwasher have a hat? Um, I believe that there is a hat hierarchy, or a hat hierarchy, and that hat hierarchy. Yes, and that the taller the chef hat, like the higher up their status is. Okay. So when they're just like a dishwasher, if they do have a hat, it would be like extremely crumpled down and small, kind of like a fast food one. Or it would uh, just like be like paper ones. Yeah, or it would just be like like a baseball hat, or a um. Oh, I like baseball hat. Yeah. Make that work. And it's just you know it's to help keep the fur out of the way. By the way, he might need to wear um a a fur net. Sorry. Fur net. Yeah. I imagine the shedding's an issue. For sure. For I'm... both of our kids. Now, I'm not going to have my, my, uh, not gonna have Snake Boss wear a mustache net, and that's because he is the boss, and so he can be a jerk like that. Yeah. You know, abusing his bosses, power. Bosses, as we know, from actual society, bosses are above the rules. Right, yes. Take Boss! Oh, boy. And that, my friends... Snake Boss is very funny. Snake Boss! Yes, you're welcome, world, for getting a uh, comedy bang bang reference, which no one will understand. Let's do the cross. So we're it seems like we're we're making a kind of a a, a comedy anthropomorphic uh, characters. Perhaps a little coming of age adventure. Coming of coming of age adventure, you know, maybe a workplace comedy. If we want to go that the more adult swim regular show sort of route, That's then it, true, would be, yeah. it would be uh, it'd be kind of like Office Space and or the movie Waiting, but with fewer references oh, to sex. Yeah, I'll do it as well here. knows how these how these eyebrows work we're not gonna think about it too hard <laughs> there's no I mean we have no scientific uh, basis to go off of for snake eyebrows right yeah usually they're just painted on you know these 
these might be made out of scale, I don't know. I also don't know how it's moving the utensils with such agility. <laughs> other than telekinesis. Board. The snake is boss on multiple levels. Yes. Snake boss! Uh... We'll just simplify it and say that it's uh, just the outfit. Con consummate V's. Consummate! Consummate! So I gotta. <laughs> it just says now, it just says stupid floating over its head. Um... <laughs> so wow, this is a this is a weirdly chonky snake. I guess maybe it had eaten one of its previous dishwashers. Ooh, yeah. That's a. Uh, you know. Very hero. Yes, it doesn't happen. You know, it can only happen once every few months. But, uh, it happens. Who, buddy? It happens. Is it the world we think? It's a, it's a, it's a dark place, it's, as we have it's established. It's a lost dishwasher world. Yeah. <laughs> Out there. Mongooses, mongoose, mm. tall geese, um, the- Mongai? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I believe that they are brown, so let's get this mean chef snake. Snake boss! Um, snake boss! <laughs> just, uh, somewhat plain yellow color, looking very bloated, still digesting the old dishwasher. Snake, for sure, has a uh, stereotypical Italian accent. Yeah, and I will make it absolutely clear, we're not okay with that. No. It is it is putting it on along with the fake mustache and the fake eyebrows because it feels like it needs that to get ahead in the culinary world. Mm -hmm. What you're saying it, it doesn't. Yes. Now now Paul, since you are Italian, you can you can directly translate the uh, the the accent. I will get punched or eaten by the snake if I do. It's true. So he says he he says you're gonna wash the dishes. <laughs> wow, that's and and you know what he 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 might be. He means it. He means it. He really does. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna illustrate that. Oops, with a different pen. Even more, even more fake eyebrow <laughs> racist. Look, it's not racist when he's Italian. It's the snake is definitely racist. Snake is. <laughs> it 
this this is italophobic. I'm not afraid of um, italics, but I will I will I will erase the, <laughs> the stereotype. I don't want to get I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, when you get in trouble, you get fined, and the big Oof. bosses are okay with that. Yeah, look, we we can't even afford to go fine free at the library. We definitely can't afford even more fines on top of those fines. Mm -hmm. It's it's a real struggle. Trying, I'm trying to think of. It is gone. Now I got a mongoose here. Okay. I'm just gonna go with Jerry. But he insists his name is Giuseppe. I was gonna say Jerry, a distinctly non-Italian name. Yes. Your 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 mongoose does not get along with with Jerry whatsoever. Uh -uh. Mongoose. Uh, let's see. If we want to go for alliteration, we can say Martin. Actually, you know what? Martin, I, I think I think a Martin, this word, actually is like a we a, a mustelid. Jerry sucks. Yeah, he does. Um, <laughs> uh, a mustelid being a weasel type, just like the mongoose is. I'm actually yeah. gonna look that up because if it is, then we then I nailed it. it perfect. I nailed it on the first try. Martin is a small weasel-like mammal in the genus Martes within the subfamily Gulanidae in the family Mustelidae. Nailed it. So I'm gonna double check that a mongoose is part of the same general. It is not. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, they're, they're in the Mungotidae and Herpestidae. They bear a striking resemblance to mustelids. Okay, so I, it's more of a, a convergent evolution thing. So, because, because he it, be is- mustelids. I'm gonna- we're, we're gonna say his name's Marvin, because it's not quite a Martin. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Marvin. Marvin, Marvin really tries. Sort of so much better. Yes, you know, we, we can't be mad at, at, at him for really trying hard to, to do things right. You know, every the world needs dishwashers, and all of and you know all of our our blue collar employees. Jerry thinks that he is above them, and that he can treat them like garbage. It's not. Yes, it's, it's he not. Needs to get that through his. His thick, thick, thick skull. No, thick scales. There we go. Thick scales. There's this consummate V. <laughs> Just get it through his consummate V. Oh boy. All right. Let me know when you're ready for a, a snapshot of these two lads. Shoes here. One, two, three. Wait, wait. One more thing. Waiting for it. Tiny hat. Yeah, get to go. The tiny yeah. hat is really sucking me. <laughs> so we have we have Marvin, Marvin, Marvin and Jerry. 
uh, chef and and dishwasher, jerk and and nice small boy, so to speak. There we go. Ew, I had some trouble saving. All right, so now we have to we have to put these into into a, a larger story. Now let's take a look yes. here at this at this randomizer. Oh boy! All right, so let us. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up a some tro let's pull, pull up a trope no let's pull up a subgenre first I love it it is a dad thriller are you aware dad thriller a dad thriller this is a very specific subgenre it's like it's, yeah explain to me what dad thriller is um like. Air Force One starring Harrison Ford is a dad thriller. Yeah. Uh, the Pelican Brief is a dad thriller. Uh, gotcha. So we're talking action thriller. We're talking like action thriller that's political and not terribly high stakes. <laughs> I mean, um, well, that's not true. The stakes are usually like national security or something. Um, They're just dramatically high stakes. Yes. Yeah, it's... <sighs> Alright, let me see if we can... And Disguise. Oh, is, disguise is the that trope. That makes this really funny. So we're actually... We're just working in a restaurant and it's a, and it's dramatically high stakes. Oh, yes. And so the, the trope that I got was Disguise. So we've already dis established that Jerry is in Disguise. The steaks are rare, just like the steaks in the restaurant where they work. So literal steaks. Um, that might actually be the tagline for for the this novelization. I'm thinking. So good. How many um, Hitchcock movies have you seen? Ooh, uh, probably under ten. Okay, that's fine. Oh, definitely a handful. Okay, so you're you're familiar with the trope of the average normal guy um, gets sucked into an international thriller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think <laughs> I think. What about 3D animation movies? Listen, we're not we're we will address that particular controversial topic some other time, chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They, it seems, in my opinion, which doesn't count for anything, there is a lot of good 3D animation movies. I mean, just look at Pixar's reputation. Um, yes, agreed. So I think that we have our everyman protagonist, and that is Marvin, who has been, who has been sucked into some horrifying way in over his head international scandal and it's all it's all about maybe it's Jerry you know we've already established that he has adopted a racist stereotype persona so he's obviously the villain so let's I'm gonna I'm gonna evil him up and here is my thought we put our Put our darling protagonist right there in, in his grasp. Jerry is not what he seems. Yes. So, and and Marvin's just just you know what? He just showed up for this dishwashing job. You know, he he heard that this place they had run through people very quickly. And meanwhile. This 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 snake is really truly a snake. Yes. Now I I'm going to assume it's in the sequels there'll be you know reluctant allies and maybe friends eventually, but we're just talking about the first one here. 
Yeah, we got it. We got to get there. I thought about giving it, uh, giving Jerry an eye patch, but uh, I felt like that's that's a little a little too on the nose. Jerry's reputation speaks for itself. Yeah. He he will be telekinetically though holding a gun. Fantastic. Yes. One of these days, I'll learn how to draw guns. Today is not that day. <laughs> Just so hard. They're so complicated. Next, we're gonna have to get. We're gonna have to draw a gun riding a bicycle. Uh, it's gonna be a gun riding a bicycle being chased by a horse with human hands for feet. <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare. All of our most nightmarish things. I gotta think of that. Why did I why did I give myself something hard to do? <laughs> now I gotta think about how this works. So if it goes around here, maybe that comes out the back of me. Okay. thinking about how hard it's going to be to come up like a title. Yeah, well, I mean, they're... Dad thriller movies tend to not have very terribly descriptive titles. It tends to be stuff like The Phoenix Protocol! Which, you know, <laughs> some like, vaguely legal or militaristic term with some other mm -hmm. buzzword attached to it. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, so, so we can get we can get like the ravioli scheme. <laughs> the ravioli scheme. <laughs> <laughs> the tortellini game. The uh lasagna maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got options. Yeah. That that gives us a lot of options. Chat says, I've heard of that one. I assume the lasagna maneuver. I'm not sure if I want to know what context. I have a feeling it's probably one that's a wee bit dirty. Lasagna gets messy. It's very true, but you know what? There's layers. There's layers. There's layers. The, the third novel. Alright, noted. trying to think of something like a snake sheds its skin so that part being connected to disguise is pretty pretty intuitive yeah <laughs> oh the third novel is titled the pasta context <laughs> 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 we'll have we'll keep a mental note of that for when we inevitably uh, end, oh, yeah, up, we end, end up drawing you know, and the thing about the, the, like, the dad thriller series, like anything by James Patterson or Clive Cussler, is that there is, there are dozens of them, and the authors stop writing them and start mm -hmm. ghost writing them eventually. Yeah, which means eventually we're going to be off the case. 
we gotta give them Ghost Raider something to work with. Yeah, yeah, that's true, but, you know, until then... Until then, we can. The Onion Enigma? Is that... What? It's got, a, it's got a ring to it. Okay. Alright. Again, layers. <laughs> That's true, too. The Onion... The Onion Enigma. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a young um, adult dystopian novel. Uh, it says chat. I that later turns into a terrible movie. I I disagree. I feel like it's usually the the big trend with um, those movies and those books is that it's like. There, a lot of them are fantasy, at least they are right now. So it'd be like the Court of Onions instead of the Onion Enigma, because um, the the sort of Maze Runner phase is, is very yeah. much more. I had to, okay, all right. Sorry, I had to I had to miss, I had to spell Enigma to make sure I was getting the portmanteau correct. <laughs> Enigma is an enigmatic word. It, it really is. I don't know if we've done any, any YA series yet, so we might have to put that under consideration. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really fudging the, the snake physics. <laughs> oh. oh boy. How much do I bother fixing this? I'm gonna say, not enough. Yeah, More like the Funyun Enigma. Uh, <laughs> thanks, chat. Oh, it's true. can't seem to get the snake's eye right. I'm thinking maybe I'm just overcomplicating it. As long as you got that slit in the middle, right? Yeah. That's the key. Where is it? I don't really know. I'm not really a biologist. And that's why we're on Stump the Artist and not Stump the mm -hmm. Biologist. <laughs> yep. They meet the rest of the restaurant staff. Oh, yes. They're, you know, you've got the Wild host, characters. the bartender. I want to say the bartender's the one who, uh, who, who tips, uh, Marvin off. 
that something's really, really up with Jerry. For one thing, his name isn't Giuseppe, it's Jerry. And mustache, it's not real. Yeah. It's like, I've, I've been here for a while. And bartenders see a lot, they hear a lot. And uh, they would be the one to be like, hey, new guy, you know, thanks for bussing. I really got backed up there. Don't, don't take anything that Jerry says too seriously. Mm -hmm. um, and o OP Man 20 xex in the chat suggests that there would be the romantic comedy spinoff, What's Up With Jerry? <laughs> It also just sounds like somebody doing a bad Jerry Seinfeld impression. What's up with Jerry? What's up with Jerry? I, s I swear to God I'm gonna get this right. <laughs> <laughs> we have 20 minutes, I'm gonna try to get it right. <laughs> it's gonna happen. You know what? I'm just I'm just might have to break and look at a snake being coiled up on the side. There's no shame in references. Uh, snake coiled up. Images. Okay. Yep. Yep. As always, overthinking it. Ugh. I mean, that's the thing, is that the, the Onion Enigma, there's, there's a lot going on. Not to ever think about. Mm-hmm. He's, he's between... Marvin's between layers. We'll just, we'll just assume that it's like, you know, Jerry's some kind of boa. Boa constrictor. Mm -hmm. of comedy's sake, and also to save time by not drawing so many consummate Vs, we're gonna put a turtleneck on, uh, on Jerry here. You know, one of those tactical crew necks or whatever the heck they're called. Tactical turtlenecks. Tactical turtlenecks. That yes. Like that. that sounds like something I that I don't care if it's not what it is. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just gonna assume that I heard that on an episode of Archer, and I'm just gonna pull with it. What way to rotate this selection? Is it? I just wanna rotate this arm because it doesn't look cool. I can flatten it. Tactical tactile necks. I thank you, Chad. I am. The fact that tactical is like such a, it's such a distinct aesthetic is a little bit disappointing. More in that, like, it is used to cover up toxic masculinity of being like, hey, I know it isn't cool to watch your own child, but we can make make it tactical by making it look like you're carrying heavy ordnance instead of um, diapers. You know, that way nobody's, uh, questioning your masculinity. It's America. Oh, 
There we go. Most times, tactical gear means they slapped a bottle opener or on something that definitely didn't need it. This is quite true. It also I it usually use like a camo diaper bag. Yes, um, I usually think of like it's unnecessary camo patterning, mm -hmm. and then like way too many straps. And like, you know, maybe it came with a water bottle. So, so 90s comics. Yeah, I, su I suppose if it's kind of a, a, Leaf, a Rob Liefeld sort of thing. I can see that. So many pockets. Almost as many as the pouch, which is the only time I've ever seen Rob Liefeld be self-aware. There. We're gonna... We're gonna fudge the heck out of this gun. No one needs to look any closer. Nope. I just gotta know that it is it is a deadly weapon being aimed... And our protagonist, telekinetically. <laughs> <laughs> With the snakes, you said it, you heard it, snakes' hands. I'm trying to think of what is, what kind of government level scheme, international incident kind of s s intrigue thing would happen that would involve. Gary. Um, being yes, but being being is in disguise at a restaurant. Right. Is he a spy or is he like? like witness protection so i marvin is definitely just a guy that got sucked into it yeah if he was in witness protection then he would have you know he would have just been like relocated or something as soon as they found out that he had broke his very unconvincing character. <laughs> they were probably like, you don't need to do that. Like, you can just be, you know, Jerry, but with a different name and spelled differently. And it's like, I want to be just Seppi. unnecessary. I'm playing the character. Let's see, um, restaurants are good for spying because people have their guard down. And so maybe, maybe he got, uh, maybe Marvin got involved because Jerry was trying to poison somebody. And the person- can't do it. And the, the poison E. Um, was like, well, clearly that busboy is the spy. <laughs> There's so, no choice but to go along with it. Yeah, no, it, it's just like you're, you know, you're, you're ruining my op. So, you're just gonna have to go along with this, or else. Uh, the entire, you know, the, the entire government of a fake land um, are gonna blow up DC. 
Because it's usually DC or New York in these dad rooms. Yes. Yeah. I'll put the sketch layer back up, so... Then let's just, uh... Oh, that's a top hat. That's not a fedora. Doors are hard. They're hard to draw. Their shape is just too cool. Mm -hmm. Oops, did not mean to do that. Don't know how I did it. It happened anyway. I guess speaking of the... Uh... Mildly tele uh, telekinetic animals. That's how this beaver is going to be eating. Uh, not eating, but you know, chomping on this cigar. It's just, you know, lurking in the background. Oh, the muscle. some kind of femme fatale if we're really speaking uh if we're really speaking hitchcock they would be blonde but for whatever reason i think i'm just drawing like a crane or a flamingo <laughs> heard if you will mm -hmm. uh, exactly a mm -hmm. bird this this guy you know what he's actually doing all right Bad. We're yep, being... I'm back, baby. any good dad thriller you're not sure if she's on your on your protagonist side or not until you know the last minute aka when they start smooching mm -hmm. cuz this is for dads this is 100% for dads the, there's going to be they love that smooching yeah there's going to be a little bit it's not going to be the the focus But, uh, it'll be in there. Mm-hmm. 
that I'm not sure if this is a fire or some smoke or both. <laughs> we'll have it in there. I do like that you, um, I'm not sure if this was intentional, but that the O for in, in the, there's, there's a, um, a gene on Enigma, by the way. Um, Oh, no. It's okay. You, you, I have faith in you. We have four minutes. <laughs> Spelling's hard. Spelling is very hard. Um, that, uh... It looks a little bit like an olive. <laughs> you know what? So it wasn't intentional at first, and I, I saw it, and I was like, you know what? This is perfect. Yeah. It's staying. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta trust the process. Oh, yeah. Another, you know, vaguely floating drink, vaguely floating item. <laughs> all of our, all of our English. we go because we all know on the enigmas in the dictionary mm-hmm take a kiss idea what this what the serpent is is standing on serpents can't stand so we'll just we'll just say it's a box that says danger on it <laughs> toxic and explosive mm-hmm and this is it, I guess, symbolically a city, because it always takes place in cities. <sighs> wow. I, you know what, I just can't help but relate to Marvin. And, uh, how absolutely... Yeah, every man. The, the everyman sucked into a plot he did not want to be in. What's happening? Just a dishwasher. Yep. Not not very bright. Th stumbling through this horrifying plot, bodies piling up around him, but you can't help but root for that guy. Because he's trying, he's trying his best, and he doesn't want to get anybody hurt. Good man. Underneath all that, uh, 
you know, brain stuff. <laughs> Indeed. Underneath all of that brain stuff. Mm -hmm. One minute. We're one minute over. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> and then just to, just to change things up. Let's make this a dark, a dark blue tactical sweater. <laughs> In the words of Jackie Chan, I don't want any trouble. Very trouble. I don't want any trouble. And then to paraphrase Cary Grant in uh, North by Northwest, which I have not seen in many years. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not the guy you're looking for. I'm not this man that you think I am. I was going to do a Cary Grant impression, and then I realized that I was not going to pull it off. <laughs> I forgot what he sounded like for a second there. Alright, here's, yeah. here's our animal-themed... Oh, wow. Uh, Honestly. Dead thriller, the Onion Enigma. I mean, I, I know it's um, it's my first day back. Yeah. But I love it! I, Again! Yeah, I, <laughs> I feel like you did you did pretty well. You you came back, baby. Um... <laughs> I think they'll be they'll be sated by your performance tonight. I'm taking a, a... I'm back. I'm here to stay. Of oh. course. Here. All right. I'm back. Onion. See, it's hard to spell. I misspelled it. Mm -hmm. The Onion Enigma. Um, coming to uh, screens, maybe. Yeah, it seems you know it could it could. It's I'm trying to think. It could be one of those. I'm torn between like an Adult Swim original movie mm -hmm. and that's not where you would find your typical dad thriller. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely... Dead Thriller is very much a late-night TV genre. It's just on a different mm -hmm. channel from this, so maybe it maybe mm -hmm. it's a weird mashup. You know, what did Spike TV turn into? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> one of those. That one. That one. <laughs> alright, well, I think, I think we did it. I think we're feeling alright. Feeling good. I'm feeling good about it. You're feeling good about it. Alright, well... Yeah. Thank you for, for coming back, Paul, and saving me it's from my It's good to be story. back. <laughs> it's... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had ditched you for so long. Uh, you know what? Life life happens. It wasn't intentional. I know. It's we, we, I made it somehow. They'll be satisfied with this new animal dad thriller animated <laughs> series or something. Uh, so... Next time we will be around will be uh, two weeks from now, actually. I believe that will be the 28th. I'm going to double check the calendar. Use the best. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Um, am I looking at the correct month? I don't even know. It's April. Um... I might have put it on the wrong day, but I do believe it is that it'll be two Mondays from now. It would be the 25th. Let me double checking. 
It or, seems right. Or it's next one and it's the 18th. I don't know. No, that's that's Easter Monday. I don't know. We'll let you know. There's another one happening this month. I don't yes. know what time reality is. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> It'll be a surprise, but we we will be back for more of these very soon. Uh, I believe there may be um, another program happening. See, I didn't write anything down. What the hell's wrong with me? Forget about it. We'll see you around. Thanks for coming. Have a good evening. Bye.